Hello everyone, this is Barbara Iris Salsu of Parental World Knowledge. I'm the founder and the owner. Also, I'm the president of artist Barbara Alsu Fine Art Studio. I wanna welcome you here today to do some more watercolor painting. Uh, if you have been following with us, hopefully you have your canvas material. And in addition, you have, and this is on a pad, Biden an art supply store. It's much like the canvas that has the wood reinforced. And uh, then you have watercolor paints in a palette. And uh, there's not white in here, so normally um, you do have to get a liquid white. It costs a little bit more, but you know, you need to mix your colors, so you're gonna have to get that. And then you need um brushes it should be several different sizes you know small to large and uh, they should be from also an artist store you also need a good artist eraser when you do your line drawing you can use a regular pencil but you need a good artist eraser so you don't see the marks and you won't have to layer as much right now on my part and uh, you need color pencils to match later you're going to make it 3d um, I'm doing my dog but you know you you can do anything you want to do um, you know you you can do uh, buildings or whatever whatever really makes you happy for you to paint that's what I would suggest and uh, you know you could use um, Props if you want to, but of course change, you know, the props you see. Um, and you do need to make a line drawing, which is just the outline. That's all I did. Again, I'll show you. I just did the outline of my puppy. I hope it's coming into view. It's not on my camera coming into view. Um, the lines are just still not coming clear. Oh, there they go. Yeah, now finally. So... And I did this from memory because my puppy wouldn't stay still. In fact, my puppy took over an hour to go to the bathroom just now. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm giving him plenty of water, um, just five months. And uh, I, you know, make sure I give him the dry dog food and I'm still giving him, you know, other things, some uh, vegetables and things to help him and fruit also to help him make easier. Um, problem is he's teething. And even though I'm doing everything, I, I created an app to As I said, I give vegetables. And one of the things I do is carrots and I do put it in the freezer. So I do that daily, but he's still teething. Um, and teething the wrong thing is is not good and that's you know causing more problems for him to go to the bathroom so um you know i'm doing the best i can it he's an island dog he didn't have um any training whatsoever so it's like a lot harder than just having a puppy you know this is an Island dog that had no shelter whatsoever was out on its own, and uh, they didn't have like you know we have. Um, I wonder we have shelters for dogs and they're trained and all that. He didn't have that, so you know right now since he took over an hour to go and 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 didn't make anything, I had to put him inside his little cage, which is big enough. I mean it's not like he's enclosed and can't move, but that's what I had to do. So if you hear him in the background, that's because he's in that little cage, doesn't want to be. Um, the screen is really very shadowy. I hope and pray it's better on yours, but mine is terrible. So I'm hoping, you know, and, and, and a statement came on that says poor reception. So I'm hoping it comes in clearer. Um, now, when I said the line drawing I showed you, so just do the outline. And if you need to fill in more lines, I mean, if you, you know, have a very complicated thing, 
You can even do a printout from the computer. That's fine. If you have something very complicated like a draft, you know, that's fine. You could do that. You don't have to make every single line and, and kill yourself. You know, your neck would be stiff. So uh, I told the story already. My sister-in-law did that, and it was awful. You know, her neck was so bad she had to have treatment from a doctor. Do light colors first, and just do gentle strokes. Don't, um, you know, do too much at once. And that's it. Some vegetables uh, uh, I do occasionally give my own homemade chicken you know uh, nothing um, too spicy but um, it is you know seasoned well seasoned and that's it so um, and turkey he likes too also you know fresh turkey so that I do and that and that does help him make um, but you can't, you, you know, you, you got to make sure you give him regularly his dog food, you know, as a puppy, and vitamins. All right, now I'm going to go back to my painting. And if you need to mix colors, like, um, like I said, with the white, um, you can put some white down. And mix with any color that you select. I'm going to make this blue a little lighter on the ball, so I'm going to use that's my puppy. What are you going to do? He has to learn. Oh, baby, please. Come on. I had to tell the world what's going on while you're making all that noise. Be my good baby. I don't know how you're going to see my painting with the way the camera is. Nope. Hey, this... I hope it's better on your screen because it's surely terrible on mine. I need some more blue. Oh, there it comes. Yay. The camera's back. I had a very interesting client who wants to be interviewed by me. Um, it was on LinkedIn. She asked me, and she has a PhD and also a master in Reiki. And I'm really so interested in interviewing her because uh, it's an interesting combination that, that she has her um, PhD, and yet she's also excellent with reiki healing to have a master's that's quite an accomplishment and i'm curious you know I'd like to find out a whole bunch of things um relating to that and i've been actually listening to uh, webinars concerning 
the Reiki and uh, she's doing clearing of chakras. So that is, you know, definitely something I'm interested in. Because I do have the ability to do that for somebody. And I'd like to learn a little bit more about it. You know, I'm the kind of person I, you know, will only do something unless I'm really excellent expert at it. And I feel I need to know a little bit more. I need to know a little bit more to uh, be an expert. I never did that. The um, healing prayers, yes, but I haven't uh, cleared someone's chakras, and I would like to know, you know, everything about it before we delve into it. And she's in Florida, so we're not really competitors. We're you know, far from each other. And in distance, so we're not going to be, we'll be helping each other, you know, just by doing this, the interview. And she, she's willing to help clear any chakras that I have blocked and I lost my father recently and I do feel there's a little blockage because um, just still grieving a little bit you know it's just hard to he had um, an accident that was tragic and, and it shouldn't have happened it was just carelessness in my belief by the water company and uh I did a change.org petition. If anyone wants to go on there, it's under Barbara Ira Salsu, and it says Julius Hurwitz, that was my late father, and he slipped on the water grate plate that was right in front of our house. It didn't have safety strips, and it did say online, I Googled it, that the water company made created the safety strips. Now, it didn't say American Water, but it did say that. And then it was removed from the internet after I reported it to American Water. Now, I just need to find out if there's any technical people out there. I need to find out the um, plate that I have um, there's a coding to it and it will prove and establish it's from the water company. And when I Googled it again, I saw it say, um, when I Googled the, the, the plate where it's made in, in, in Tennessee, um, and I put the name of the particular plate, it came up that it was again the water company but it didn't say american water it just said america it just said water company and uh you know but i do need to know the coding so if anyone's out there listening So I'm very grateful you know, this uh, woman contacted me, getting back to that, and I feel that she can help me a great deal, and I can help her, which is wonderful too. I knew she couldn't help me. I, I enjoy helping people. I don't do things just to... Get reciprocation. I, I do things to help people. 
doesn't doesn't mean that I have to get something back. The joy of giving is getting something back to me. But I just felt, I don't know, just a little bit better today. I just did after knowing that she said that she would try to do um, clearing of the chakra. <laughs> What? No, what, Markula? No. No, uh, how you doing, Richard? Do my show. Your show? Yeah. Please, please, please don't, Richie. Please don't. Please. Hey, hey, Miss Atsu. Goodbye, 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 yeah. Richie. This is the friend of my son who's helping us with our house. I wish, I wish, and it's a good thing that woman called about the chakra to help me with my sanity from that person helping us with our house. <laughs> That's another thing that needs to be clean for the chakra. <laughs> This is a live reality show, so you're in for it here. <laughs> I made sure I called a reality show knowing that this was going to happen. Okay, baby. Be with you in a little while. He didn't make outside. That's why he's in there. If you want to take him out, it's up to you. It's not that he, he didn't make in the house. He just didn't make outside. And I was out over an hour. You better take them out if you're going to let them out. Well, then put them back in. I love you, baby. You go up as soon as I'm done. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, another hour. Actually, 55 minutes. Get off the paper. Don't lick it. I'm trying to paint it. That's you. Do you know that's you? I'm painting you, Platinos. That's you, gorgeous boy. I did it from memory. <laughs> you never easy. Don't bite me. It's still teething a little. Oh gosh, what are you doing? <laughs> you want to go on the air? I mean, obviously, you're, you're trying to go on the air here. You gonna take him out? Nope. Well, why'd you let him out? Because he's crying. Well, I don't see the purpose of him being locked up if he's not he didn't do anything bad. But he's going to. He 
can't hold it. He, he didn't make over an hour outside. This one does. This one usually makes every hour. Ow. He's very active. And that's why. I've never had a puppy this active. Plus, he's an island. Him. him. We've never been. I've never had a puppy this active. Oh. Baby, be good. Be good, be good, be good. Come on, baby. You gotta be good. Where's my good baby? Be my good baby. Go over there to Richie. Go ahead. Richie's calling you. Okay, baby. I know. when I take him out, like I take him 10 times a day, he makes usually, I mean, it's not every hour, but I mean, it, I take, when I take him out for over an hour, he makes within that time period. So, and I get about seven hours sleep a night, so yeah. it's stretched out the 10 times. David? David? Is that you? He's out there? No. I thought I heard his voice. Very funny. That's David. I hear his voice outside. Son's friend is a comedian. Unless he was talking on the phone with him. But I don't think so. It sounds like he's outside, live. I can hear from all the way inside my house with the door closed, my son talking. That's how good my hearing is. This guy's a wise guy telling me he's not. I'm coming. Got a little over 30 minutes more.
Faggot. Watch the language, please. Well, I'm good. I check the um, mm -hmm. box that says 18 or more because look, look at the language I'm getting here. No, yeah. But I would actually uh, mm -hmm. explain. No, yeah, yeah. No, but um, yeah, just um, try to. I would say like maybe me and Yvonne, the, the two of us, you know, be easier. Something like that, you know. And I, 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 you know, I could, I could probably, you know, do something, you know. Hi, David. Um, Hi, David. He's on the phone. Yeah. Or even, you know, me and Brian can try to split up. I mean, I'm, you know, it's until Friday anyway, you know. I can't do nothing until to Friday, so. Yeah. That's, a, that's the only thing with me. Word. Word. All right, bro. All right, man. Have a go. No doubt, but of course, man. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Can you please not make that noise? No. What noise? It's a dog. Oh, that was okay. That's why you just wasn't. Now. I got you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's just broken table. Will you please stop it? Oh, okay, yeah, I think I heard that. Somebody was saying that. Yeah, it's all good, man. Next time, for sure, man. Right now, like, I'm almost done with my bathroom in my house, too. And then uh, I'm doing, I just started doing the furnace with Vichy in the house. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a whole mission. <laughs> yeah, that's a... That's a whole mission because you got to know electricity work to connect the thermostat to it. You got to know plumbing work to connect the, the condensate, like the condensation pipe that has to go to a pump. And yeah, like it's, it's mad shit. <laughs> the gas piping, we did it all brand new. And that's crazy. Like, <laughs> but yeah, that's like, that's the last frontier right there. <laughs> and mind you, to get PSENG to do this, it's like $9,500. Like nine thousand five hundred dollars, they'll come and do it. Yeah, that's what my girlfriend paid. Uh, her, her mom paid. You hear that, Mister Sue? Nine thousand dollars. You hear that? We we like a furnace was only like um twelve hundred to buy it. And you know the boiler was four five hundred for more hundred dollars to buy like the parts you need to connect. Yeah. So the uh, that's that's a <laughs> well, that's a very valuable trade to learn. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> but I man, I'm about to get going. <laughs> Gorgeous. We got we got speakers in the ceiling now. <laughs> yeah, speakers in the ceiling. <laughs> ah. Ah. Yeah, I know. It's still there. <laughs> that water tastes like booty juice. I'm doing my show. You guys uh, stop. Not yet. Not yet. So I gotta get the. I got my build. I got the building permit. I don't know if I ever told you. Please go out of this room. I have to pay eight hundred twenty-two dollars. So shows in the middle of the house. <laughs> Goodbye. So you know how like um, you need uh, permits to do any type of work in the house, more or less. You know. So, like, I've been, you know, I never got them. So, you know, I started <laughs> in the mornings, you know, it was back and forth. I had to make changes. This but this, and this, say prayers uh, for me because this guy is the one doing all this work with the heater and everything. Oh, my God. Yeah. Still at the town. Yeah. So that's that's the next thing that's on the list. <laughs> Long, well, long. that's what happens when you do yeah. charitable work. You can't afford to pay for the other thing, so. I'm I'm having to take a chance here. My son, my son. Uh, 
friend who's does building but never did this kind of work and he acts a little <laughs> a little strange oh No, I'm praying myself. Being thankful and praying. Well, so far all the, the um, plumbing parts have been changed. And uh, pipes to the gas. And the bathroom is in so far. Completely, but still a lot to do. I think we should call it the art comedy show. <laughs> it's getting to be very funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just 30 more minutes, baby. Nose, be a good boy. You got your food there. Go eat it. You got your toy, the chew toy there. Go play with it. If you need to make on the paper, make on the paper. I hate to hear him cry, but the thing is, if I don't, 
he's not going to learn. He has to learn. He has to go out. We don't go out every hour. When we go out, it's every two or three hours. When I see he needs to go, he lets me know, goes by the door, starts crying. And then he doesn't make for over an hour sometimes. Most of the time he does, but sometimes he doesn't. And then if I don't stay longer, he's going to make a mistake in making the house. He can't help it. And he doesn't go on the paper. I leave the gate door open, but Richie, who's helping us, he tends to close it. And I keep telling him, leave it open, leave it open. But he's, I don't know, he's going to the refrigerator, he's forgetting. So, now I have to keep hanging in there. He had a little revert after um, it was very bad weather last week. And... Uh, he was going out regularly, and then he just got into a habit of not going out regularly. He was scared of the rain and that bad um, hurricane. We had it mild. They said bad, but you know it was actually pretty mild in our area. I don't know if it was bad somewhere else, but it was you know pretty mild here. But it was scaring him still. So was a hurricane. So if he was fine for months, he was making out and making regularly and everything's fine, and then he just reverted back a little. It's amazing he even learned that fast because he's an island dog and he, you know, didn't have to be inside, so this is hard. I'm hanging in there with him because I love him very dearly. Glad you know, so I love you, baby, and I will be with you in about 20 more minutes. You so you can see I'm doing the grass around the plant. He likes the iris plant. He always goes by it, so... When he plays outside, so I put the iris plant that he likes so much. He likes the way it smells, and he likes to put his little body in it to make himself smell real good. And I give him baths, too, with tropical bath. And it's... um. Good that it you know doesn't hurt puppies, nothing harmful in it. But uh, he likes he likes to smell nice, clean, be clean, smell nice. He's quieting down. And as you can hear, everybody left the house. It never ends.
Now my puppy is mostly um, black, so you know I have to do all the bright colors first. I can't wait to do my puppy, do the dark little brown eyes, and do the uh, rest of him in black. There's a little gray to him too, and a little brown, teeny little bit. Because he's part black lab and part chihuahua. What a combination. Sheesh. And that's why he's like so active. Never had a puppy this active. <clears throat> and plus he's an island puppy, so he's not trained at all. You know, he came to me just totally like a slate. You know, you have to clean slate. You have to start from the beginning. And it has been a challenge. And I wanted a trained puppy because I'm so busy doing my show, doing, I, I run a charitable organization besides this. I write my blog. So, you know, I, and I do social media. So the, And brought home an island puppy, got him for free. Just had to pay for the travel, and because uh, he had a you know, free paid vacation from his boss, and just had to pay for him to come back. The uh, puppy, my son had his paid for by his boss. So, you know, I I feel. It was a great deal because he's such a loving puppy, but, you know, it's just a lot of time and effort, and I'm trying my best, really trying, because I didn't anticipate this. I am quite busy. And, then, you know, I cook fresh meals all the time time different things because you know that's part of our blogging is about cooking so it, it, it isn't easy trying to do everything that i'm doing but i just love this puppy so I mean, i'm hanging in there and just pray for me that i can do it I already took one fall down the steps from this puppy. Was, um, I had an accident not too long ago, and I hurt my both legs. And, you know, this puppy is very strong. I've never had a puppy like this, like I said. And uh, he pulled me right down the steps. Not intentionally, but he was chasing, you know, tra going away from uh, not chasing, but going away from a bee. And uh, so it ended up, we didn't want to go right in. Next time I go in, even with the bee, I learned my lesson. He was trying to go down the steps away from it and uh, pulled me along. I just hope that I can continue. And today, even, he pulled me a little, and there was no bee. So he's a very, labs, black labs are very active. They just are the most active puppy you can imagine. I've talked to a lot of owners recently and found out. Now, I didn't pick the puppy. My son did and brought him home and. How could I say no when he's wrapped in a little blanket and he looks like a baby, a newborn baby, just so sweet and kissing me as soon as he came to the steps, kissing me on my hand. So there's no way you're going to send away that puppy. No. I fell in love.
I just hope I can do this. There's a lot of training and he's pulling me. To say a prayer to God that I'm strong enough to do this. Because like I said, if I wasn't injured, it's different, but I am. So I'm having a hard time here. When I have mostly fun, mostly love, playing everything, just great.
And when you layer, you have to layer at least with a few layers. So this is just one layer. Well, that's how a proper watercolor should be. You don't want to see your lines. Now, my puppy saw a little boy that he just loves. His name is David. And he has such high energy like my puppy. I think that's why they both love each other so. And this David is so sweet. And she get, he gets so excited when he sees Platinos. And he's a little boy and he says his name and he wants to pet him. But he's jumping all over the place when he's trying to pet him, and, and then my puppy starts jumping. So it's unbelievable. But I hold him back, and I'm laughing. That you know, that the, the two of them, God bless, they're, they're, they're just like each other. They want to be high energy, jumping all over. He's a precious little boy. Little red hair and freckles. Adorable. He's not our neighbor, but he's um, the neighbor's uh, grandson. And just, he just goes crazy for him.
Well, I want to say a prayer for everyone in this world. Miraculous healing prayer, a peace, good health, and spirit, and strength. Amen. And God heals 100%. I just say the prayer. I hope you don't need it now, but if you do, say the prayer to God with me. God will heal you 100%. And if um, you don't at this point need it and you need a later date, please say it also later to God. And uh, with me saying it, you know, it still holds valid even later. And... Like I said, God heals 100%, so I'm just doing the prayer. And it could be for emotional or physical distress, whatever it is. Prayers good for both. Now, if anyone wants to come for a lesson, it's free on the air. And uh, you can call us at 973-736-1637. 973-736-1637. We're here 9 to 5, Monday through Sunday. You can call us. In addition, if anyone wants to sponsor us, any small business, big business, or individual, you can always sponsor us too. We want to make a college fund, so... You know, the sponsoring could help keep our site free. We have no paid commercials on it. And uh, I'd like to get that truly college fund started. And in addition, we're making uh, a larger office. So 
would be great, you know, they're helping us out here. This is where you come to you know, our office here. This is this, our studio here. It's a small studio. Is where you get your lessons. So I'm trying to make that a larger area. Again, you can call us at 973-736-1637. And if anyone wants to schedule a private lesson, you can also call it the same number, 973-736-1637. For Artist Barbara L. C. Fine Art Studio. And uh, only $24 an hour for a watercolor lesson. In addition, um, you can be any age. I just want to make sure you know. Uh, for the rowdy show, you have to be 18 or more, but for our organization, you can be as young as even a year old. So, Please give us a call, 973-736-1637. We even instruct people that have master's degrees in art. This watercolor has been passed over so quickly. by the colleges. My theory is that people just do not know how to properly do it. And it just goes on and on. There's so many people came to us with master's degree in art and even uh, NJIT Architect College refer students to us and uh, we just did not have proper art. Fine art is not taught enough in school. Programs are cut and teachers just want to pass over quickly with the watercolor. And this is the basis for every other media of art in fine art. You know, you need to know watercolor first before you do acrylic and oil. Okay, well, it's time to go. I thank you again, and please tell people to uh, tune in, uh, into us, hopefully about five. I mean, I'm sorry if, you know, like I said today, I'm trying to retrain my puppy from last week, having that hurricane in our area in West Orange, New Jersey. And it hasn't been easy, but uh, I just wanna show you my picture. Getting there.
I thank you again. Bye now. Have a good day or good night, depending on where you are in the world.